Hey there, friends and enemies. It's over here again. And unfortunately, it is my way. No one will mourn. Which is incredibly low considering Gaining the game right now is free left. to try, but Our ultimately will cost four dollars. And I know the game has really to a ton of negative press. People don't like left. the appearance of the characters. They don't like the way they're ramping up these cinematics when it is a PvP game. People are tired of four shooters in general, which is confusing to me because there are really that many. But overall, this is really bad news for the game and the studio. Now, I personally have enjoyed my time with it so far. I do think it is a good game, but I do think it can be a lot of fun, especially playing with friends. It's nice to have some new PvP options in the mix right now. I feel like everyone is either complaining that there's nothing new coming out PvP wise, or they're saying the new games that do come out are not what they want to play, and it's a really weird time to be a fan of PvP games. And like I said, I personally enjoy this game, but it's going to need a substantial player base to be successful long term. And the reason for that is twofold. One, it needs to bring in enough money to continue justifying making new content over the course of time, adding new seasons and all that kind of good stuff, and new maps, new characters, whatever. It also needs a healthy player base, so matchmaking times are horrendous. It isn't super sweaty. I saw this with Lawbreakers. I, I got a bunch of them weak there. Away, and every game was a pure sweat fest. You recognized every player in the lobby, and that is something that will absolutely kill a PvP game. Now, what can they do to port Jumping in like that is this crazy. Is something that I know everyone believes that this game is dead in the water, there's no chance of a turnaround, but I personally would like to see some semblance of success. I would like to see it last for at least a bit to see if they can pull things around and show us what they have. Where are they at? Are they not? So no. Okay. Do that, there are a couple things that I think need to happen. And whether this would make it a success remains to be seen. But one, PS Plus players get this game. I now, just fucked them up. understand that they want it to be paid, so it's not an abundance of microtransactions. That's another thing. People complain about the free-to-play games and how expensive those microtransactions are, but now they also complain that a game costs $40, and that's the reason that it's never going to be successful, which is weird. They could go completely free-to-play with this game, but they would have to completely restructure their monetization model. You have to pay for battle passes, you have to pay for skins, stuff like that, and that is something that I don't think they want to do ultimately, and there's no guarantee it'll be successful if they do that either. So it is really a difficult time for Firewalk games. This Deploying has pad. a bunch of former. Heading this way. So I am low on strength. And I hope they can find a way to turn it around. I hope they either are able to add, get it into PS Plus and maybe change up the monetization a little bit, add some packs you can buy that might be cosmetic only that would be beneficial. Maybe they can make it completely free to play and go that route like we've seen with the Fortnite and the Lord of the Rings. Watch this! No surrender! those skins are, but I don't think most people understand how expensive it is. Ah, hell! Invigorate! Endless rage! Make way! Maps, modes, characters, whatever the case may be, and so all of that ends up over the course of time, and if you're not making enough revenue, to be successful long term, it's just I not am healing. To it is good. That going, and the sad reality is that between Concord, we also have Marvel Rivals. We have like, we're pulling ahead. Xbox as well. That's launching. It just doesn't seem like any of these are really standouts that are going to be the long term. Best bet take on the market. Marvel, oh. The backing of the Marvel name to carry it through, and I do think. 
think that's the most likely to be successful of all these games simply because it is a Marvel game that hasn't been a guaranteed success in the past, but I do feel like it will bode well for the game and give it a like Regaining health compared to these competitors. Now ultimately we'll have to wait to see what you guys think in the comments down below. I am very disappointed but that being said if it doesn't catch on then there's no chance for it to have a future long term so anyway my name is Joe but I hope you enjoyed the video if you did hit that like button subscribe to the channel also now join us in show if you want to see more Content or was he any content? Content on Twitter. This is my cover going for it. No prisoners. My name is Joseph. I am C.